knife topology tool. All right, we're going to start out with just adding a small cube to the scene. And I'll just go in here and smooth it up once. And maybe twice. And then hit apply. All right, what I want to do is cut this, maybe cut an eye into it. All right, let's let's think about a character for for example. Uh, maybe I need an eye in this area. Well, I could do that in several ways. I could uh, subdivide these and then or extrude them and then shrink them in. But what I want to do is cut an eye into it. Well, to do that, let's look at the knife tool, knife topology tool. First off, know that by right clicking on this, you can change the shortcut and then change it to K on the keyboard. Uh, in 2.63, they don't have a shortcut on this thing. So, All right. To get started, uh, we'll look at maybe starting from somewhere. I'll start from the corner here. And end in the corner. Then hit enter on the keyboard. I'll do that same up here. And however you do this, it's just you. Enter, K on the keyboard. Enter, K on the keyboard. Enter. OK, now I have these spare vertices over here. What am I going to do with them? Well. Here's an example of what you could do. I could hit Control R and insert an edge loop right in this area. And then I can use my new tool, K on the keyboard, to join the two together. Sweet. So effectively cutting an eye into that area. Now to support it, what I usually do is inset this. So you can hit spacebar, type in inset so inset faces and you can choose the amount of inset if you want here's the thickness and then you can go ahead and do whatever else you want to it control E to extrude it set it back a little bit but effectively what you want to do is keep the topology well so to test topology, I usually just hit multi-res and subdivide it once and see that, yes, indeed, the topology is working out quite well to it. And just to see the topology, you can go into the box here, hit wire, and you can see that topology. There is some wonkiness right there. So I don't like that wonkiness at all. Let's look at why that occurs. And you can see there is no edge going from here to here. So K on the keyboard to rectify that. Enter. And now when we hit tab, you can see the topology is much better. So again, the knife tool is invaluable, really, for creating organic, non-organic, whatever, but to fix up things that happen in the heat of modeling. It is an essential tool to know. All right, so that is the knife tool and how to use it. Enjoy.